So what's going on guys, Shane here. Today we're talking about different types of blocks to protect the head. And these will apply to both boxing for punches, as well as mixed martial arts for kicks and elbows. Let's take a look. So since I don't have a partner to help demonstrate these blocks, I'm gonna use a double end bag. Got the Fight Tips prototype here. I'm still working on a couple different adjustments, but it'll do the trick for this video. So what I love about the double end bag is it keeps my defense honest. If I throw a punch and don't block, it's gonna hit me back. So let's talk about how to stop these shots from coming in. Now what I've noticed with beginners is they tend to overanalyze defense and blocking. They think about the names, parry, shoulder roll, helmet guard, high guard, and they try to do it step by step. When in reality, I'm just trying to stop the strike from hitting its target. I'm putting something in between, whether it's my palm, my glove, my forearm, my elbow, my shoulder. We just are trying to stop our opponent's strike from landing on its target, okay? So the first one we're gonna talk about is the parry. Now this is when straight punches are coming in, right? Jabs and crosses right to the face. I'm gonna stop it with a parry by putting something in between, my palm, right? Now I have to make sure that I put enough force to stop that punch from coming in because if it's a hard jab or a hard cross and I'm all lax, I'm gonna punch myself with the back of my hand. And I also can't overreach because if I do that and it's a hook, now my, my guard is exposed, I'm gonna get hit in the face. So you have to find that nice in between, comes with practice, right? So I have to just keep it nice and tight and give enough of a force to stop the punch from coming in. Next up is the high guard. So if this is our guard, this is the high guard. So we're just lifting up our elbows, bringing our forearms closer together so that we can block punches from coming in. We have to make it small enough of a space so that MMA gloves can't fit through if it's MMA and boxing gloves can't come through if it's boxing. So we're just stopping punches from coming in. We wanna keep our eyes open so that we can move accordingly. So there is going to be some movement. We don't just wanna be a punching bag, right? But again, for straight punches, it's just that. I just need to stop that punch from coming in. I keep my eyes open so that I can see where the punch is coming exactly and then I move accordingly. So the high guard is a great one to go to and you'll see it used very often in boxing and in kickboxing. But again, you have to counter, you have to move. You can't just stand there and be a punching bag. Next up is the helmet guard. And the helmet guard can be easily transitioned into from the high guard. So all we're doing is bringing our wrist to our ear or answering the telephone. Hello, right? So we're blocking the side of our head for hooks, overhands, haymakers, right? So if we're blocking the front of our face and our opponent starts to adjust and they come with shots around the side, boom. I'm just gonna lift my wrist up to my ear. And with MMA, you wanna make sure that you have a strong wrist, right? If this wrist caves, boom, you're gonna hit yourself in the head or they're gonna penetrate through into this spot right here and they're gonna catch you with their foot. Behind the ear, behind the head is a very vulnerable spot and that can knock you out. So you're gonna bring your hand all the way back to the back of your head. Answer the telephone, wrist to your ear, and you're also protecting the front of your face with your elbow, just in case you miscalculate it, right? If I thought it was a, a hook, but it's actually a straight punch, I'm still protecting the front of my face. But if I'm going blocking these, these straight punches, they were throwing jabs and crosses, I'm parrying, I'm high guarding, and now they try to go around to this side, then I'm just gonna adjust and just grab wrist to ear, grab the back of my head, and block that shot. In boxing, we have to be worried about body shots. So what you'll notice about them, is since it's bigger gloves, is they kind of go right here. They keep it more compressed, and they still block the body with their elbows, adjusting from high guard, parries, helmet guard. Now let's look at the three-point block, which is pretty much the same thing as the helmet guard, except we're just going to reinforce with the opposite hand, and we call it a three-point block because there's three points of contact. The palm, the forearm, or the glove, and the shoulder, or the bicep. So it's being dispersed over all three. And this is what I recommend for kicks to the head. So if someone throws a big kick, boom, I'm gonna block with all three points of contact. I'm not taking it just on the wrist or just on the forearm, right? Because if they hit the outside bone, the ulna here, that could break. Especially if it's a shin bone against this bone right here. If I'm going outward and not blocking with both, that could be, like I said, that could be a fracture. So what we're going to do is block with all three points of contact. And you can do this on either side. Now let's take a look at outward blocks or gate blocks. Now these are more traditional martial arts moves here, but some high level boxers like George Foreman would use them with great success. So we're coming outside of our tight guard here, the parries, the helmet guard, the three point block, and we're gonna to start to reach for the shots now. Obviously there is risk here. Once I start to move my hand away from my face, just like we did with the reaching for the parry, I'm exposed. So you have to make sure that you know how to do this correctly and that you judge it right. So what we're gonna do is turn the hand out. We also see Gabe Rosado using this one where you're gonna block the shot kind of mid-strike, right? If it's coming in, let's say it's a wide kick 
or it's a wide overhand punch. What I want to do is go outside 90. Outside 90 is, if this is 90 degrees in my arm, right, that square right there, this is inside 90, that's weak, that's caving, so anything outside 90 is going to be a strong position here. So that's not going to cave. When these punches are coming in, I'm pretty much meeting them halfway or before they start to gain max velocity. So when this punch is coming in, I'm just going here. Fingers splayed, right, hands open. Shout out to Tony Blauer, the spear system. So when that punch comes in, that's what we want to go for, is right here. It's a great way to stop the shot from coming in, and we can also turn the elbow high. So if it's a very overhand looping punch like this, then I would go out here, right? And you can see my shoulder is protecting my chin, and I'm protecting all shots from coming from this side. Is the body open? Yes, absolutely. Could it hit me with an uppercut? Yes, absolutely. But we're exposed even when we just throw a simple jab, right? So just keep that in mind. If we see the punch coming in, maybe it's, it's towards the later rounds, they're getting tired, and I can set, tell that it's coming in, boom, then I'm just gonna go right here, outside 90 with that outward block. If it's high, then I adjust by bringing my elbow up. But from here, we have frames, we have posts, we can follow up with our uppercut, we can pull down on the hands, Lomachenko, and follow up with a straight right hand, or left hand in this case. So this one definitely works, but it, it depends on your style. If you're very good and tight with maybe a peekaboo stance, then stay there. You don't have to start reaching. But maybe if you're a longer fighter, or you just like keeping your, your guard a little bit longer, give this one a try. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So remember, there's different blocks for different strikes. Practice all of them, and then master them in your sparring. Guys, we got gear coming out. We got the double M bag, we got gloves, and we got much, much more. Sign up for our email list so that you will be the first to know when these products are released. Link's in the description below, and it's first come, first serve. If you guys are interested, get on that email list. Click the link below and sign up. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the underdogs.